Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. So in this week's vlog, you guys are gonna see the fire pit area come together. Um, I do have to be honest and let you guys know because we already have filmed the outro that you guys will see prior to, but we had a terrible storm come through on Thursday afternoon or Thursday evening, and it completely, I wouldn't say destroyed the backyard, but it's not in a position as of yet for us to do a final reveal, which is gonna was supposed to be next week. Um, we're gonna put input some uh, clips in there so you guys can see it but just wanted to let you guys know that we have a minor setback on this and we're actually starting to get rain now so it was a horrible storm that came through it was almost like I would say like hurricane type weather I was out here I had just put the umbrella together I was going to put water in the basin and then I turned to my left and it was like a huge sweep of wind came with rain and I was completely drenched my hair is all messed up I need to go and wash it um but it was just it was awful and it seemed to happen within like an hour everything was completely destroyed in the backyard and i have to say that like the umbrella fell over the the string lights hung just fine um you'll see that like i said we're trying to get things together in our final reveal but it's just as i'm looking around like the hydrangeas were like completely almost like flattened the backyard's a mess so we're just trying to get everything together so the final reveal may um be next week we're just not sure as of yet um but it's just been an ordeal and it's not even just our home it's our neighbor our neighborhood in general like a tree fell in our pool at our clubhouse it fell another tree fell on our clubhouse um we have a neighbor where a tree fell on their house and their house is right now completely looks like it's total um so it's a lot going on so we're located in north of georgia and that's where all the storms were and it's just completely devastating just driving around we have over a hundred bro um down trees in the area plus power lines we didn't have power until 3 a.m um it was just unexpected all i saw on the forecast was there was going to be rain at 6 p.m 100 percent chance and i'm like yay we need rain but it was way too much rain <laughs> so um i just wanted to be completely honest with you guys that it's beautiful and it was beautiful in my mind of everything that I wanted and we haven't even gotten to enjoy it as of yet and I just feel a little bit defeated because the weather came and, and knocked us back a little bit but we'll get back on there another thing as well I wanted to let you guys know August is going to look a little bit different because I'm having surgery on August 2nd and I will be on bed rest for a little bit so um I will fill you guys all in that when I am feeling better so some of our vlogs may not be what you guys are anticipating as far as normally once we finish a project here we kind of go back in the house and do some other projects but we do have footage from some projects that we did for clients that we guys are, that we're going to show you guys um and some other things as well so like i said august will be a little bit different but um yeah so anyways without further ado let's go ahead and get into this week's vlog The day had finally came when our marble rocks were going to be delivered. So we had to go ahead and move our daughter's car out of the way. We also went ahead and moved our Telluride out of the way because we knew that the marble chips needed to be delivered, but within the driveway. This also was our anniversary day as well. So as you see, <laughs> we're kind of dressed up or semi-dressed up. I guess this is our new norm of dressed up since we work from home. We really have no style whatsoever anymore. <laughs> um, but uh, Matt's just putting down the tarp there. So when the guy comes to deliver, it wouldn't mess up our driveway since we do have that brick inlay there um, but as you can see this is the moment when I feel like we ordered maybe way too much um, so this is actually three tons of marble chips um, I came home after this had been delivered um, I think it went somewhere I can't remember but when I got home I was like it doesn't look like a lot but trust me it was way more than what we actually needed um, we ended up having to give some away to our neighbor which was actually um, a blessing because we didn't have to you know haul it somewhere else so here is the marble chips here you'll see some discoloration in the color because some of it was wet so I guess when they went to scoop it there was just um, it was just wet underneath and then some parts were dry but ultimately it did dry so here we are in the backyard having to put down the landscape fabric 
Um, anytime that you're wanting to go ahead and smother the grass and hopefully kill it, but I hope that this works out because we do have Bermuda grass and we know how invasive that can be. Um, again, this is our first time ever doing a project like this. Um, it was a little windy, so it was a little bit challenging to make sure that the fabric stayed completely straight. But we had enlisted our kids to help us out. Again, our oldest is never around when there's a project to be done, but our two youngest went ahead and helped mom and dad. So we're just going around and putting the landscape fabric within the walkway, making sure as we came to turns, um, cutting the fabric and then going back and repeating the same process. Of course, using the stakes um, that you can buy to secure the um, landscape fabric to the ground. Now I would have to say that securing those stakes to the ground in some areas was kind of challenging because there was a lot of rocks in the ground. Um, but we just made sure once we hit a rock, then we would just go over and secure it somewhere else. Um, again, trying to pull it as tight as possible and then go ahead and, or we went ahead and filled in the gaps that you'll see um, where there needed to be a little bit more fabric in some of the walkway as well as in the fire pit. Uh, it was hot this day, you see my husband sweating. <laughs> I feel like we always choose the hottest parts of the day um, rather than waiting until a little bit later. But I feel like when we wait till later on in the day, then the bugs come out and we get bitten by mosquitoes like crazy. So I don't know. It's kind of pick your poison, especially when you're doing a project in the summer. It's going to be hot anyway. So we kind of just deal with it and, and muscle through. So once we got the um, landscape fabric down, we were bringing in these bags, which we only purchased for, I don't know what we were thinking, um, but it's some type of sand that you put underneath gravel or stone just to like level it out um, just a little bit more. Well, obviously we didn't have enough, so we went ahead and spread it out just in the fire pit area as much as we could, but ultimately the marble chips would just level out that area anyhow, and plus it was already pretty much level because our, our backyard was pretty much it was graded pretty good. So anyhow, um, basically Matt and Jalen went ahead and bought in all of the marble chips via our wheelbarrow that our neighbor gave us. Um, it used to belong to his dad. Um, so I decided to go ahead and keep it and I just felt like it was just something sweet that he gave to us. Um, even though maybe he was trying to get rid of it, but <laughs> it came in handy. Uh, so here we are, we're spreading out the 
um, Marvel trips, me and my daughter Leah. Eventually, she kind of left the project and it was kind of just up to me. Um, but here we are, again, putting in that sweat equity in our home. The boys were bringing us barrels and barrels of rock. And um, it was quite a tedious project, but we went ahead and ultimately got it done. So just enjoy. So we made sure to use a hand tamper um, just to make sure that it was packed in just a little bit more, but doesn't it look so good? I'm telling you, we were so tired. It was just a long day, but it was so worth it. It looks so good. So of course we need to make it look a little bit better. Um, so these are planters that I actually had on my deck and I had some beautiful hydrangeas in there. But your girl killed them. Um, I never <laughs> drilled um, holes to let the water come out. And I figured I was like, oh, I'll just go back. Or it doesn't rain that much. It rained and they completely, it like rotted out the roots. So um, rather than buying something else, I was like, you know what? Until I figure out what I want to do on the deck, ultimately I'm going to go ahead and just reuse these planters somewhere else. So here's Matt putting in some self um I was going to say self-leveling concrete. No, um, some quick Crete in there and it cures within about, I would say 15 to 20 minutes, um, is what the bag says. Um, so we went ahead and we've used this before and we just mixed it up and followed the directions. We used about a bag and a half per container. Um, it did make it a little bit heavy, but Matt was able to go ahead and bring them over to the backyard. These were what we're actually going to use to hang our string lights from that you guys will see next week. Um, but we just went ahead and put water within the basin. Of course, before this mat or after it dried, Matt went ahead and drilled some holes in it, but, um, it was quick and I didn't really have to pay anything. Uh, I did went ahead and bought an eight inch, excuse me, an eight foot pole or wood pole, um, that we're going to use to screen the lights. So the goal will be eventually, um, once I decide what kind of plants I want in this planter, I would like to plant them up. Um, so I want to make sure that there was proper drainage holes. So we went around and put about two holes per side. Um, so in total it was what, two, four, six, eight, yeah, eight holes per container to allow for proper drainage. Um, so yeah, and so far with all that rain that we have got that I talked about previously, there hasn't been any issues. Um, so yeah, so here's Matt taking the wheelbarrow with the, um, planter back around our house. Um, I don't know how he does it because that stuff was heavy and I so appreciate him because I wouldn't be able to do it. Not with this back, <laughs> um, but yeah. But did you guys see that sign? Your girl got yard of the month, okay? So yeah. <laughs> So 
So since the ground slopes here a little bit, we needed something to basically act like a, um, a leveling agent for it. So we used some of that cardboard that I had laying around. And of course, like I said, all of that area behind us is going to be ultimately flower garden, which is going to be a no dig. And I'm going to put cardboard down to cover up the grass and unfinished mulch that you guys see. Um, so we also went ahead and took some of the rock and um, put it inside of the basin just to make it a little bit more sturdier. Um, I'm glad that we did that because we gave all the rock away and we had to, we needed some rock to kind of cover up some spaces once the storm hit. And I was able to just take some of that marble chips out of the basin of the container and then spread it where I needed it. So now that we got all of the hard work out of the way, it was time to do all the fun stuff. So again, I partnered with Costway. As you guys know, I love partnering with them. They have some really awesome products on the website. And I already had four chairs before and I felt like this one matched more match closely to the ones that I had previously, but I also love that it had a cup holder. So I went ahead and ordered two of these. Um, I figured that they would be mats, mat nice chairs, and then everyone else can just sit in the other ones. <laughs> um, but um, I went ahead and put it together. Now your girl is not good at putting things together, okay? The first chair took me forever, okay? I'm not saying that it was hard to put together. I'm just not one for manual labor, okay? Um, but once I got the first chair assembled, um, the second one went a whole lot quicker than the first one, okay? Again, it's not hard to put together, just follow the directions, but just for me, I am a little challenged when it comes to putting things together. And if we were really to show you how this went in real time, you'd be like, oh no. <laughs> but Leah helped me out, Matt looked at me and laughed, <laughs> but um, it got together and it's looking good. Alright guys, so let me know what you guys think in the comments of our beautiful walkway. I absolutely love, again, the items that we got from Costway. Thank you so much for sending them over. I cannot wait to use them. Especially just the clever of having this one that has a little cup holder. I absolutely love that. And then the attention to detail with Costway of having their um, company label in gold. I think that is such a cute little um, nod. <laughs> so I love that. The chairs are very good quality. Um, again, they'll fit right in with the existing ones that I have that you guys will see next week as far as everything decorated and stuff. Your girl still has things to put together, so I'm not done yet. So I absolutely love how the marble chips came out. I think it was an awesome touch. I mean, of course you could have done, or we could have done it a little bit cheaper as far as doing gravel, because I believe the gravel was only $66 a ton, and this was $139 a ton for the marble chips. But I think that it's also the quality of it as well. And it just gives it a more professional look. So it just depends on how you um, want to do the, the project, but we will have all the cost breakdown in next week's vlog, but I absolutely love it. I have a lot more things planned here that I need to do. We're going to string some string lights here that will connect to the pergola. We'll also be doing some more landscaping in the back because I feel like the landscaping really needs to step up its game and we need landscaping like pronto. Um, you'll see us put all the rest of the chairs together within our area. I'm still waiting for our solo stove to come, a uh, fire pit, excuse me. And um, it was supposed to come today, but you know how FedEx is. I mean, every time I order something, I seem to get FedEx instead of UPS and I despise it. Like, I don't know. I know FedEx is really big here in Georgia, so I guess that's the reason why. But then again, it runs on Georgia time, if you know what I mean. And so um, I'm not getting my stove today. I don't know where it is. So hopefully, I don't know when I looked up the update, it says between Wednesday and Saturday. So I don't know, whatever. But anyway, so we're gonna have that taking place. We also got a hundred inch um, projector screen that will go here. I can't wait for movie nights. I'm telling you, our house is most definitely gonna be the best house on the block, I have to say. Um, but I absolutely love it. Another thing I wanted to point out that Costway sent us over is this um, bar cart here and our cooler. And I can't wait to use it to fill it up with lots and lots of drinks. 
for our friends and guests and whatnot. So can't wait to use that. Also has a beer opener here. So we'll be giving that plenty of use. And then one other thing as well that I chose with Crossway was a fire log um, holder. So this, once our stove is here, we'll be able to fill this up with lots of wood and set it up within somewhere within our fire pit area. But we have, like I said, we have lots to do, a lot going on. The summer heat is not giving us any breaks. <laughs> so we're trying to do as much as we can in the evenings, but it's still humid. Like I'm so sticky right now. So I'll make sure to link everything in the description below. And then also make sure that you check out our Amazon storefront page as well. Anything that I have that will be in the fire pit area, I'll make sure to link there as well. Um, but again, I'm loving how it's coming out. I absolutely love it. And I just can't wait to enjoy it. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in this week to this Georgia Clay. Please make sure that you like, subscribe, share, share it with a friend. And next week will be the final reveal. I know you guys are wanting to see, girl, what did you do with that fire pit? And you'll see it next week. Bye guys.